And Giacapri of Italy in red. Yulisinov of Kazakhstan is fighting out of the blue corner. We're underway. Three three-minute rounds in this uh, second men's welterweight quarterfinal. And Giacapri already has his hands down. Tries to lure in the boxer, swinging his head about. He's not quite as cocky as he was in the previous bout, where uh, he stuck his head right out. At one point, uh, it went backfired heavily as Bagarov uh, hit a clean right hand right on uh, the chin of the Italian. And suddenly, he covered up fully. This hands-down style, though, it, it really does get the crowd going. The Kazakhs are all fired up here, hoping Yelusinov will uh, defeat the Italian. This style of boxing really does uh, split fans right down the middle. Some love the style, others find it uh, a little cocky and arrogant in the way uh, he boxes. Whatever it is, it's effective. It's got him a, a very long distance in amateur boxing. Will it take him to the World Championships here? He's got such good head movement, Mangia Capri. Just under a minute to go here. Very even at the moment. Ten point must system though, we must have a winner. The judges will have to give this one way or the other. Oh, a stunning left hand there from the Kazakh athlete, and that's uh, the danger of boxing the way Mangia Capri does. Watch your shoulder, he says. You can see the Kazakhs uh, a little bit taller as well. He's got a slightly better range than Mangia Capri, who uh, just waits for his moment and then dives in. So explosive, the Italian. That's it, end of round one, and uh, sportingly, they raise gloves to each other. That was a really close round indeed. They've seen it go towards the Kazakh, 9-10, 9-10, 9-10. Doesn't surprise me, Yulisinov uh, definitely connected with some good punches there. They showed good aggression. And there you go, a few good shots. And the Italian did come inside. Uh, although his work rate was good, didn't always connect. There we are, there's uh, one particularly noisy section of the crowd here. <laughs> They've all grouped together, drums, clackers, Whatever you call them, they're, they're making quite the noise. Vincenzo Mangiacapri of Italy in red. Uh, Daniara Yalisinov of Kazakhstan in the blue. Yalisinov comes from Astana, capital city. This is uh, the number two city in Kazakhstan, Almaty. Still there, over two million people here. <laughs> and uh, the few thousand Kazakhs that are in here are making it feel like there's 10,000. So much noise. I think that was a uh, head off the chin there. He, uh, he bows an apology. 
Well, that wasn't much of a shot, but the uh, Kazakh crowd thought it was. And again, just a glancing left. And Jakari, such a bold way that he boxes. Hands right down like that. Slips away from all the punches there. Not one of those connected there. The crowd is screaming. Again, Manjikapi ducks out of them. Well, it's glorious to see when it's working well for the Italian, but he's got to throw some punches back here. You can't just duck out. Turning around, no turning on the opponent. Oh, big right hand there for the Italian, and again he connects to the head. Warning, use of the head. The Italian gets through with the right hand. Just over 20 seconds to go here. Now this one could split the judges this round. It's been really tight. Oh, a cracking right hand from Yelusinov. The Italian trying to show that it didn't hurt him. Charges back in, but he gets clubbed again there by Yelusinov. That is it. Back to their corners. And in the last 15 or 20 seconds, the uh, Kazakh athlete may well have swung it his way. He has done 9-10 across the board there, 18-20 for all of the judges. And Mantia Capri now is going to need something special, perhaps a knockout or at least a couple of knockdowns to uh, try and win back the judges. And he was very effective there. I think as Manja Capri took a couple of blows, he just slowed down. And uh, that's where his style of defense really does have its flaw. Keeping your hands down, weaving your head about is all well and good until you take a couple of heavy hits. Now, Manja Capri of Italy in red. He's 10-9, uh, 10-9 down on all of the scorecards. You'll loosen off. About to move on into the semi-finals if he can just keep this work rate and pace going here. And it'll bring the house down. The crowd will love it. Andrew Capri, just you can see him waiting to pounce in there, get his moment. Oh, takes a, a left hand as he goes in there. This is entirely different from Andrew Capri's uh, round of 16 bout where. Uh, just toyed with his opponent to stick his head out at will. Now it's Yelusinov who says, come and get me. Showing off his skills. Mangia Capri. Oh, beautiful there from Yelusinov. A diving left hand and he landed it as well. Cracking up a cut from his right hand. 
tricky, you loosen off. He's boxing southpaw. Five seconds to go. Manja Capri needs a, a huge punch right now. It's knockout time is what he needs. Charges in, it's a clash of heads. This isn't the way he needs to finish it. The Italian needs to get stuck in now. The Kazakh athlete can just dance around the ring. He's done enough. This is going to go the way over yet. Yelusinov, Daniel Yelusinov of Kazakhstan to uh, the screaming delight of the Kazakh fans here. Their number one sport, boxing, as uh, a number of Kazakhs describe it not football they say boxing's our number one and they love it the kazakh athletes are on billboards on the side of uh, bus stations they're everywhere big posters of them true heroes out here and it looks like yulusinov has delivered there you go what a moment for this young man 27 30 across three judges he wins three to zero and uh, that is the end of Vincenzo Mangia Capri for this World Championships anyway.